Joey Wrecker from Mount Michael. Grace through the cat! And the title of this poem is called Lessons. <laughs> Seven o'clock on a warm Sunday evening, and sweet melodic bliss flutters to greet me. I walk through the door, unlocked as always, take my shoes off in the front, step softly as music day crescendos. I see her, my second mom, full and strong as her voice, her fingers stronger as she glides them gracefully across ivory, filling the room with rich, healthy energy and Chopin's bliss. One week, and I am back, the same warmth and passion both present, but there's weakness in her voice, bruises on her skin, her hair is falling out. Her fingers leathery and dry, cracking at the tips, trip, tremble, and I see pain in her eyes whenever she shifts her weight. I see doubt in the weak, worn smiles flickering across her face and failed attempt to, attempt to assure me. Two, two weeks and the strength is poured out from her soul, as if the fluid pump she is chained to is taking her life rather than sustaining it. Her hair is all but gone, the bags under her eyes are heavy for modest, gasping for breath and her once strong fingers are split open, polishing stark ivory with crimson. I watch pain spread from her fingers to her shoulders where radiation therapy burns, restrain her art, choking and suppressing once free melodies, her tempo fading from the steady allegro to a slow, solemn grave. I was too young to understand her condition. I only knew that it seemed every month she went for another surgery, that she got sick off and stumbled easily, fell short of breath on deficient lungs, all of which was impossible to believe as I listened to her flawless music. But she kept fighting, chemo and radiation never slowing her down, never keeping her from a single performance, never stopping her from giving me a single lesson. Today, I watch her long fingers slide beautifully back and forth, again, completing a cadence with heavy breath, which I pray is not the cadence of her last. The breath she draws is breath from a well where you can't see it, but know that it will always be there. Music fills her tiny living room once more, breathing life out of the brittle window screens, melodies drifting down sloping yards of the neighborhood, out to the chain link fences. They fill the potholes, sweep over the warped pavement, spiral down the street and up into the air, her music bringing the neighborhood to life.